Okay, let's talk morning baskets. So if you don't already know, a morning basket is a basket that can have books, resources, um, morning binders or morning menus like we use, um, any resources that you want all in one place, things that you would love to read through every day with your children. So for example, we have art and poetry, we have some science and nature and some flashcards. You can have whatever you want in a morning basket and it doesn't have to be done in the morning either. You can literally pull it out at any point of the day that you want. Today I'm going to show you what we are keeping in our morning basket this year. Okay, so let's have a look what we've got in our morning basket this year. We've got the Osborne Famous Paintings flashcards. Our science topic at the moment is plants. So I have questions kids ask about plants. World of Science. We've got our Osborne Children's Book of Art. Art Masterpieces to Colour. My personal favourite nature book, Slow Down. I Am the Seed That Grew the Tree Poetry Book. This has a poem for every single day of the year. And then of course, our morning menus. So before we go any further, I just want to point out, we don't read all of these books in here every day. Of course, I no, no one has time for that. We read a page or a segment of each book in the morning and we don't even read every single book each morning either. So we won't necessarily pull out the art book every morning. Sometimes we'll focus more on nature other times we'll probably pull out the famous painting cards and the art books and we'll do some art colouring so it does change every day. So I'm going to flip this around and give you a look through all of the books that we have in here right now. So to start with, famous paintings. These are from Osborne and we have used them time and time again and absolutely loved them. So they feature a famous painting on the front and then on the back actually gives you some information about the artist where he was born or where the painting was painted where the painting is now um, and some information and general knowledge so that's really handy for um, artist study so next we have our questions kids ask about plants we have several of these books and they are great for just giving little snippets of information so when we open it up, we just have little questions and answers about plants. So an example of us using this in our morning basket would be reading one of these questions with the answer. So it's not a lot of reading at all. Then we have our world of science. So if we was to pull this out, we would just read one page. Then we have our children's book of art. This is Osborne too, so pairs really well with the famous paintings flashcards. Again, if we were to pull this one out, we would read one page. And I like to start at the beginning and work our way through. So we will start at page one and each day, or maybe every other day, we will read a whole page. Sometimes lessons expand from there. So we may really love a painting and then find it in another book, look up more about that artist, have an artist study, YouTube or Google search the artist's name and look at other paintings by the same artist. It can just lead to all sorts of um, lessons and we love to chase the spark. I was so happy when I found this because it has nearly all of the paintings from the famous flashcards pack and they are all 
in black and white and ready to be photocopied and then colored in or painted. You can photocopy them onto watercolor paper and the kids can paint them. So yeah, we was really happy to find this to add to our art. Okay, my favorite ever nature book, or one of, because I do have a lot of favorites, but this is definitely up there and you'll see why. So it features on every page a story of something in nature. So poppies blooming in a field, a dragonfly performs an aerial show, weaver ants build a nest, all the little things that you miss if you don't pay attention that are just in nature, there to be appreciated and it really points them out and that is one of the reasons I love it. The simple things that are found in nature, appreciated and the illustrations are so gorgeous. And then lastly, we have our huge poetry book. It's huge because it has a poem for every single day of the year. I am the seed that grew the tree. So the poems are only little, and I'll give you an example of how we incorporate the poetry into our days. So today we read this one, which is today's date, and we read it twice, and then I asked the girls to tell me what they think the poem was about. I asked them some questions about, there is a white bird in this poem, so I asked, what, what bird do you think it was? And just little questions, they don't have to be deep, deep uh, questions. It can just be something very simple, just to get them thinking about what they've listened to. And that's it, that's how we incorporate poetry. It's very simple and gentle at this age. And it's just about exposing them to poetry and, and just prompting them to have a little think about what they're reading. Another really great addition actually that I wanted to quickly share are um, these chalkboards. So they weren't in our morning basket um, today, they were up on the shelf because we use them pretty much all the time. But they are these chalkboards, they're from Chalk Full of Design. While you're reading some of the books from the morning basket, they can be practicing tracing their letters. Um, they can do their sight words. Before you start your morning time, you can make the time. So it's good clock practice every day. And if you come across some key words in your nature book or art, they could practice writing them. And it just adds in more handwriting practice. And also keeping them busy while you're reading is um, always a bonus. I do have a link for these chalkboards if you want to check them out. If you're in the UK, the shipping does cost a little bit more. Um, or you could print off a handwriting sheet and laminate it and they can just practice that every day. Um, but yeah, check out the link if you want to. If not, a handwriting sheet, a colouring book, something that keeps them busy um, and allows them to stop fidgeting while listening to you reading. So that is what we have in our morning basket this year. If you have any questions about a morning basket or anything at all, then feel free to just leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.